An important thing to look at when you're choosing a battery system for your vehicle is that it is actually going to be physically capable of handling the demands of a four-wheel drive vehicle. Now typically in a four-wheel drive vehicle we're going to get dust, we're going to obviously get water through river crossings, we're going to get huge amounts of vibration and we're going to get corrugation shaking the hell out of the car as well as well as the vibration which is far more significant. A system has to be tough enough to withstand those very harsh conditions. Now one of the really wonderful things about living in Australia and being an Australian is the fact that we have one of the best testing areas in all of the world, it's our backyard, it's the deserts. I've just come back from 7000 Ks across the Simpson doing further development work and testing on some products and absolutely no dramas. In a good dual battery system that is going to be used in the Australian outback and the Australian bush, there are some things that we need to look for. We need to ensure that that product is going to be tough enough to work reliably and long term in our vehicle. Now in a four drive vehicle we're going to get obviously extreme heat, we're going to get vibration, we're going to get lots and lots of shaking around due to corrugations. We need a product that is actually tough enough to withstand that to survive. In a good dual battery system, you will have all those features combined into one. You'll have a sealed casing, you'll have nickel plated bolts or have the thing fully sealed so when the wires go through it can't allow any rubbish to get into it. You're going to have a system that's capable of withstanding years and years and years of corrugations absolutely reliably doing everything you want it to do. We're going to answer some questions for you guys today that we get asked all the time about dual battery systems. I guess the first thing is that we get asked is why does a modern vehicle, and what we mean by a modern vehicle is something made probably in the last five years, require a different type of battery controller to what we possibly would have used for the last 20 years prior to that? The answer is very simple. Modern day vehicles have full electronics on them that control everything from the gearbox the engine management system, in most cases ABS brakes and in some cases even stability control. An interesting sort of side fact is there's actually more computing power than sent the original Apollo mission to the moon in many of these modern vehicles. That's just the evolution we've seen. Now unfortunately the old solutions, things like marine switches and solenoids are no longer really a relevant solution on modern day cars and why is that? The computing power that we have in these modern vehicles means that these vehicles are susceptible to damage from things like voltage spikes. A voltage spike or a surge occurs when you parallel batteries together in a charging scenario. It's just like jump starting. Now obviously you don't want to damage the computer in your car, you don't want to damage any of the electronics. I mean even things like GPS's can be affected by surges and spikes. So the answer to that is to try and not create that surge or spike in the first place. So what we use is modern day systems. Now this system is the first of the modern ones. This type of product was the very first product to have the technology that allowed us to run smart computer systems in our cars with a battery isolation system that was actually compatible and safe. Since then the technology has developed even further. Now what's happened is originally we used to have very, very limited choices of batteries. We had basically wet cells in cranking and wet cells in deep cycle. Nowadays we have AGM batteries which is absorbed glass mat. We have calcium batteries. We have a whole range of wonderful technologies that allow us to charge our batteries more quickly and they give us more capacity which is all really, really good. However, you then need to use a smarter technology product, something along these lines. These products are driven typically by a microprocessor that enables us to have a full smart charging algorithm built into our battery charging system that allows us to charge those different batteries with the different chemistries and still work effectively. Very, very importantly, the smarter systems cannot damage the electronics on your car. You will not be stranded, you will not be in limp home mode. You can use these products with absolute confidence knowing that everything is going to be tickety-boo. The last thing, of course, that's very important is on an older style vehicle, you don't necessarily need this level of technology, but if you do sell that vehicle in a couple of years time and then upgrade to something a bit newer, this can go with you. The life expectancy in these types of products is typically 15 years or more. So a smart answer with smart technology is a great way to go. What are the features that we should be looking for in a modern dual battery controller? To answer that question, I've actually had that question asked so many times, I've actually written it down, it's here in my book. So I'll just run through it with you. First of all, one of the very most important features that most simple systems do not have is one-way flow. In other words, very simply, let's just explain this in terms of tanks of water. If this is a battery, and this is a battery, but they're actually, think of them as tanks of water. If that one is full, 
and that one is flat and we join the two tanks together, they'll equalise. So that full one will go down to half and that will come up to half. That's not what you want in a modern system. You must have a one-way flow. So effectively the alternator charges the main battery and after that's charged it charges the auxiliary battery. So one-way flow is one of the most important features. The second thing is, is we must have in a smart, intelligent, modern system electronic current limiting. We can't be using fuses or circuit breakers. They just are not fast enough to protect those computers that we need to look after. Okay. The next feature is, and I always ask this question, is not if it goes wrong, when it goes wrong, because everything gets old and wears out eventually. It's absolutely critical that when a system fails, you are not going to be left stranded. But if you were stuck out there with no ability to get your car going again, you would probably die unless somebody saw you. If this system ever goes wrong, it does not impinge or in any way affect the computer, the starting or the running of the car. The worst thing that happens is, my friend, you get warm beer. The fridge will stop working. Back to the points again. Okay, joins. In every electrical system, a join is the potentiality of having a problem. A wire can come loose, you can get high resistance, you can get corrosion, something can short out. So typically we don't want lots of joins in our system in the wires. In these smarter systems we typically only have two connections, one onto each of the batteries. If you've got external fuses and circuit breakers you end up with six or more connections. So keeping the joins to an absolute minimum is really, really important. The next thing of course is, is an infinite choice of batteries. Now, you don't have much choice over what battery the car comes with when you buy it initially, but once that battery is worn out, the choice is up to you. With smart systems, we can run any type of chemistry or technology. Now, the thing to remember is different chemistry batteries require different amounts of voltage to make them charge correctly. They have different charging regimes, that's the technical term for it. With these systems, we can actually use dissimilar batteries that have very specific charging regimes and still get them to charge properly, very important. And of course, very importantly, Australian made, Australian tested, and five year or more warranties on many of these vehicles are very, very important because we know that this is gonna be reliable. So I hope that answers the question for you guys.